Welcome back. Thanks for joining us today. We've got a brand new story to share with you, so let's begin. I couldn't believe what I had just discovered. The excitement of our upcoming trip to Greece had turned into a nightmare. Alicia, my girlfriend of a couple of years, had been cheating on me with a guy named Brad. The betrayal hit hard, especially considering the effort I had put into saving up for the special vacation. A few weeks before our trip, I stumbled upon disturbing text messages on Alicia's phone. She had left it on my counter, and instinctively, I glanced down at the message preview. The content revealed the secret relationship with Brad, someone she had met during a girl's night out. The messages detailed the good times they'd been having together, and it shattered me. The devastation was overwhelming, the trip we had eagerly anticipated was tainted, and I couldn't fathom spending a week with someone who had betrayed my trust so profoundly. I was on the verge of confronting her, but a sudden flashback to my tumultuous childhood stopped me in my tracks. Memories of my loud and violent father flashed before my eyes, the fear I experienced as a child resurfaced, and I realized I didn't want to become like him. So instead of pounding on the bathroom door in a fit of rage, I halted my fist just inches away and reconsidered my approach. What if I could find a way to address the situation peacefully, without resorting to violence or confrontation? What if I could have a little fun and find a non-destructive way to cope with the pain? Then it hit me. You see, I had reconnected with an old schoolmate of mine, Aaron, about a year ago on Facebook. Aaron had always been stunningly beautiful, but we were just friends. However, we had been chatting and catching up over the past year. He seemed like the perfect person to help me execute my plan. So I called Aaron and filled her in on the situation. I asked her if she'd like to go to Greece with me, and without hesitating, she agreed. I couldn't believe it, first of all, she really is a good person, and she had no connection to Alicia, so it wasn't going to be a major emotional event for her. She was more than happy to be there to help me through this tough time. Luckily, she had enough vacation time saved up, and she was happy to be part of my little revenge scheme. We agreed to meet at the airport on the day of the flight, and I went ahead and changed the name on Alicia's ticket to Aaron's. On the day of the flight, nerves high, Aaron was already at the airport, waiting in the wings. I picked up Alicia, and we drove to the airport. I was quiet on the way, she asked me if I was okay, and I kind of got smart with her, saying everything was just wonderful. After all, I was going to be in Greece soon, so I wasn't lying, but I knew I was projecting a different vibe. She could totally sense something, and I did my best to get back into character. I started talking about some of the places I was looking forward to seeing, it helped me take the edge back off. When Alicia and I arrived at the checking counter, I handed over our passports and tickets, doing my best to keep my cool. The ticket agent scanned our documents and then looked up at us with a puzzled expression. This was it, the moment the bomb would drop. I'm sorry, she said, but this ticket is for an Aaron Smith, not Alicia Meadows. Alicia was confused, of course, and started arguing with the ticket agent. Meanwhile, I was doing my best to hide a smirk. Just as the tension was reaching its peak, Aaron emerged from her hiding spot, looking absolutely gorgeous and holding her passport in hand. Actually, I said, trying to sound as nonchalant as possible, Aaron is right here. Alicia's face went from confused to furious in a split second. That's when I dropped the bomb. I know you've been cheating on me with that loser, Brad, I told her, my voice surprisingly steady. So I figured you'd be better off staying here and having a great time at the bar while Aaron and I enjoy our vacation in Greece. We're done, and I never want to see you again. Alicia looked like she was about to explode, and then she just started sobbing. She asked me how I knew, and I told her it didn't matter. She asked me if I had been cheating on her with Aaron, and before I could answer, Aaron spoke up. No, ma'am. I've never been a cheater, and I will never be with a cheater. Before Alicia could say much of anything else, I grabbed Aaron's hand and walked away. A ticket agent, who had been watching the entire scene unfold, simply nodded at us and led us through the gate. I turned around one more time and smiled as I entered the gate, the ticket agent had turned towards the gate so she could finally release the big smile as she shook her head. Aaron and I boarded the plane, both of us still in disbelief at what had just happened. We settled into our seats, and as the plane took off, we clinked our little plastic glasses together in a toast to new beginnings and unexpected adventures. 
It was an exhilarating feeling, and we couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of it all. As we settled into our vacation, Aaron and I spent our days exploring Athens, visiting ancient ruins, and indulging in delicious Greek food. Our evenings were filled with sharing stories from our lives, reminiscing about old times, and discovering that we had more in common than we ever realized. As the days went by, I found myself feeling grateful for the twist of fate that had led us to this moment. Meanwhile, Alicia was not having such a great time back home. First of all, she had to catch a cab back home, remember, I drove us to the airport. Word of our airport encounter spread quickly among our friends, and she became something of a laughingstock. I even heard that Brad, the loser she'd been cheating with, had ditched her after finding out what had happened. As much as I didn't want to admit it, there was a small part of me that felt vindicated by her misfortune. Aaron and I didn't dwell on that for long, instead, we focused on enjoying the time we had together in Greece. We visited stunning beaches, hiked breathtaking trails, and even tried our hand at traditional Greek dancing. As the sun set on our final day in Greece, we found ourselves standing on a hill overlooking the ocean, hand in hand, as the sky turned brilliant shades of orange and pink. Standing there, I felt a newfound sense of clarity and purpose. The heartbreak and betrayal I had felt just a week ago seemed like a distant memory. I turned to Aaron, and as our eyes met, I knew that this trip had brought us much closer than we ever could have imagined. We should do this again sometime, I said, grinning. Aaron smiled back at me, her eyes shining with the promise of new adventures. I'd like that, she agreed. As we boarded the plane back home, it was clear that our trip to Greece had been more than just a vacation, it had been a journey of healing, of rediscovery, and of unexpected connections. Though neither of us knew exactly what the future held, we were both excited to see where this new chapter in our lives would take us. As for Alicia, well, let's just say that she learned a valuable lesson that day at the airport, cheaters never prosper, and sometimes they get left behind in the most epic way possible. That was pretty intense. How do you think I handled it? Is there something different that you would have done? Let us know what you think in the comments below.